Locus of points, level 7, grade C topic. Now, locus of points uh, that are equidistant from a point, two points, two lines. In mathematics, locus means uh, a set of points that satisfy a condition. So the condition is that are equidistant from these three things. Okay, so the first one, if we think about um, some points that are equidistant from a point, so if we pick a value um, to make our points a certain distance away from. Now I'm going to, uh, let's just think about if they're three centimeters away from this point. So if I get a ruler out, I can measure one point that's three centimeters away from this point. That could be this point here. Um, if I move the ruler around a bit, I can find another point that's three centimeters away. So here, I move the ruler around a bit more. I can find another point maybe on this side that's three centimeters away. And I could do that a lot. Now we want all the points that are three centimeters away. Now it took me quite a while to put all the points on using a ruler. So what we tend to do um, in these sort of questions is use a compass because a compass is very good at picking out all the points that are a certain distance away. So if we set our compass up so that it is set up to three centimeters, let's just spin it around a bit so I can. Fit them on the on the line. So there's let's open it up to three, or as close as we can get to three. So let's do exactly three, is it? So let's do it there. Okay, and then all the points on this circle will be three centimeters because each one is this is three centimeters, three centimeters. They're all three centimeters away from this center, this one point. Okay, so the locus of points that you could just from a point is generally is it is always a circle. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is two points. Now we could try and do the same thing. I can uh, get my ruler back and set it up so that it's halfway. So it's set it up so that it is um, on there and on this ruler that's four centimeters, and then halfway would be two. Now, if I want all the points that are half uh, that are, are equidistant, that means the same distance from both, then I need to find another point that is the same distance from both. Oops. So let's think about that. If I go towards either of the points, it stops being equidistant from both. So I need to go away from both of them at the same distance each time. So I'm moving um, in along in this sort of direction. Now you might figure out that that's at right angles to that. Um, and that's why this is called a perpendicular bisector because it cuts the line between them at right angles. Now to construct that properly um, we need to again use a compass and we need to find, if we can find two points that are equidistant that are fairly well spread apart we can draw a line between them which gets all the points. So um, let's spin that around a bit. Let's make sure our compass is, is over halfway between the two points and then if we draw a semicircle here, whoops, or maybe even bigger, and then we do the same on this side. Hopefully they will cross at two points. There we go. Two points that they cross at. And then we can use a ruler to join those two points up. Hopefully setting the ruler up to the right direction. There we go. I'm going to use a green line for this. Okay, so that line there is the line of all the points that are equidistant from both these points. Because this point is equidistant, because it falls on these two line, these two arcs of a circle, showing that that's the same distance. That's the same distance. Then all the points on that line are going to be the same distance. You can see I was pretty good accurate there to start with, with the dots. And that's called a perpendicular bisector because um, if we bring back the ruler and uh, spin it around correctly, and then we draw a line between these two points. Then this line, the green line, the one we've drawn is at right angles or perpendicular 
to the line between the two points. So it bisects this line, green line bisects this line at right angles. That's why it's called a perpendicular bisector. Okay, the last one we're going to do is um, where two lines, the same distance from two lines. Okay, now hopefully you're getting an idea for this now. This this is called an angle bisector because it bisects the angle. If we want all the points that are the same distance from both these lines, we need to find sort of a midpoint that's going along here, that's going halfway between them. That's called an angle bisector. So we need to bring in a compass, make it so that is a reasonable size, that's a bit too big at the moment. Okay. We're going to find two points that are the same distance from the centre where the two lines cross. And from those two points we are going to find a point that's the same distance from these two. So if I draw an arc in the middle here, roughly where it's going to be. And then another one from this point. You can see that those cross at that point. Bring in a ruler. And hopefully if I join these up it should match up quite nicely. Now the thing with these constructions is, oh, that's not very accurate is it, let's try that again. The thing is with these constructions is they are supposed to be accurate so you need to make sure that when you're doing it you're using the, you're not just using a ruler and guessing where it goes, you've got to use the compass because the compass makes it much more accurate. And Anybody marking your work expects to see these compass lines drawn on it. Without them, um, it looks like you've just guessed where it goes and it's not accurately drawn. Okay, so that's locus of points.